Greetings, invaders. My name is Scott. This is Book Invasion, coming to you from my space shuttle, currently on parking lots planet in the um, Target Nebula. <laughs> um, so today I'm going to be putting my TBR for Tome Infinity and Beyond, featuring additional readathons such as Monsterathon, Space Opera September, and Apocalypseathon that are all happening in September. And I'm going to finagle my reading to mostly cover my Tome Infinity challenges because I am a co-host on Team Warfare with Jessica and Christina from Game of Tomes. Team Warfare, all the way. However, it's only happening for ha the last half of the month, September 13th through the 30th. So I have a little bit of a wiggle room in the beginning of the month to tap into the Space Opera September, Monsterathon, and Apocalypseathon. We'll see. So what am I going to read? Um, let's start at the beginning of the month. I will be buddy reading a book called The Outside by Ada Hoffman. I will be buddy reading this with Rachel from The Shades of Orange and Jason from Jason's Weird Reads. Um, it's kind of like a sci-fi book and it has a little bit of a horror element to it. So that'll take up maybe a week or a week and a half depending uh, of my reading time in the beginning of the month. So that could qualify for, uh, say, the Space Opera September challenge, just to read a book. That gets me one book under that challenge. It gets me one book by uh, a woman. So then the other books I'll cover can give me two um, in the novella, blah, blah, blah. And under Monsterathon, if, if it is a horror-type book, um, it can be one that can be classified under multiple genres. So under the Monsterathon, I'll cover the Chimera Challenge. Um, it is also 401 pages long, so that covers the challenge What Big Eyes You Have to read a book that is over 400 pages. And if there are monsters in the book, which I don't know yet, that might qualify under some of these other ones that have monsters or monstrous humans or aliens. Don't know. So we'll see. And then, so after that, I'll probably have a little bit of space to read something not too long. Or I can just save my time. Uh, because after, when Tome Infinity starts, I'm going to start with the group book for Team Warfare, which is Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie. So I'll start that on the 13th when that kicks off. And that will cover me for the team book. So that gets me uh, 250 points in Tome Infinity. It's set in space, so that'll give me a bonus 50 points for bonus challenges. And it should give me the second book that was written by a woman for Space Opera September, so I can unlock the fighter. Cool. Um, and then I want to read Binti by Nettie Okafor, which I think a lot of people in September are going to be reading this. Um, it's 96 pages. It's from an author who is from Africa. It's short, so it qualifies as the novella for Space Hopper September. And in Tome Infinity, it would qualify for uh, 100 points for Africa and 50 points for being a one-sitter, which is 150 pages or less. Boom. Then I also want to reread uh, Wandering Earth by Six Sin Liu. That's a tiny 45 pages. Um, so that gets me an author from Asia and a one-sitter again. Some more points for that. The next one on my list is Killing Gravity by Corey J. White. That's uh, another short one at the 176 pages. That author's from Australia. So we got that continent checked off. Um, that's number one in the Void Witch saga, I think, which was released by Tor uh, through their website, I think. So that one sounds pretty cool. Um, the next one I have is a doozy because it qualifies for a lot of things. So it's called Screaming Planet Volume 1 by Alexandro Jodorowsky. It's a graphic novel. It's a collection of short stories by different illustrators. It's 56 pages. The author's from Chile, so that counts as South America. So I'm going to ring that bad boy up. Under 100 points for another continent, um, 
50 points for graphic novel, another 50 points for collection of short stories, and another 50 points for being short one sitter. Boom. Then uh, I would like to read Aftershocks by Marco Kluse. Uh, Marco Kluse is a, a writer from Germany, so that gets me the continent of Europe, and it is 200 and something pages, so we can't count that, but it is set in space, so it gets me 50 points for that bonus challenge. So that gets me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven books, six for Tome Infinity, one for the Buddy Read. So the Buddy Reads, I mean, so the Tome Infinity books should give me all six continents, which will give me a thousand points because Antarctica is optional. This is all just craziness. Um, I'll have four books uh, kind of down for Space Opera September. Um, so I've read the novella and two Space Operas by Women. And a diverse author featuring a diverse protagonist. I believe uh, The Outside might qualify for that. So I'll get 2B. So I could be a space pirate. Um, I'm not going to read anything before I was born. Uh, and I'm not going to read anything that's 500 pages or longer because I will not have time. And as far as the Apocalypseathon books, I believe one of these has to do with an apocalypse, probably Aftershocks. So that would be a, you know, astronomical uh, apocalypse for that challenge. The other optional books that I put on, if I do have time... Um, I want to read Electric State by Simon Stalinag, which is a graphic picture book. Um, it's 145 pages, and it's um, kind of like a technological post-apocalypse. Um, I have the physical copy of it on my bookshelf at home, and I've had it for quite a while, and it looks really cool. And I would like to read that if I have time, because I think it's kind of short. Most of the pages are pictures. The text is only like on the sidebar, so the story is fairly short. But the illustrations on it are just fantastic. And maybe I'll grab that one if I have time. Or I'll just read it in October. Whatever. The other one I want to try to get to is called The Invasive by Michael Hodges. Um, that one would probably be qualified for mostly for Monsterathon because it's about um, in this remote place they find an invasive creature species that have animalistic qualities like birds and scary things. Um, and they need to kind of get rid of that and, and fight against that species or those things before they kind of take over the world as far uh, I think. Again, I, I don't have the synopsis here, so I can't refer to that. But if I do do that one, I would follow, file that under um, the Beast Challenge for Monsterathon to read a book uh, with featuring a monster with plant or animal traits. And then Chimera, probably something that can be classified under multiple genres. Um, like sci-fi or horror. We'll see. Um, the other one I want to try to read is called Dark Orbits by Carolyn Ives Gilman. That's where the space crew land on some kind of crystalline planets. They find some extraterrestrial beings. Um, so for Monsterathon, that challenge would be the conspiracies to find a book featuring an alien uh, or sci-fi based creature. That's my that's my kind of official lineup. Those are my reading plans. We'll see how well I do. I, I know at least for... I feel pretty good for Tome Infinity because most of the things I have, besides the group book, nothing is over 300 pages. So that's good. So hopefully I can rack in some good points for Team Warfare. Mm. Um, I'll link to the sign-up forms down below for Tome Infinity and Beyond. Sign up for Team Warfare. I'll, they have a tag, a World Savior tag, that you can fill out a kind of like an if-then chart um, with prompts, depending on what team you're on. I'll be doing that, I think, closer to the time when that launches, when Tome Infinity starts. So that should be cool. Check it out. They ha also have uh, links to all of the Wikipedia articles for all your science fiction author resources, books by authors that are from every country, top graphic novels, top sci-fi featuring X, Y, or Z. 
all those links are in the Tome Infinity and Beyond kind of spreadsheet. There's a map where you can color in all the continents that you've saved in your challenges. Um, the sign-up form's there, the Q&A's there. There's also a big list of recommended books that the community has recommended that they may be reading, like all, all just people have come into their mind. I'll probably add the ones that I've put on my TBR on there. So if you're clueless on what you should be reading, you can go to the community recommends page. You can go to any of the Wikipedia links and articles to find some stuff. They have uh, Megan did an amazing job putting together resources for this. The spreadsheet's great. You can see what team books are there. You can see kind of who's on what team. And there's a form that you fill out when you read a book that you just put in your name, the book, like the page count, if it qualifies for a continent. So there'll be an external kind of form that you're going to be inputting all of your reads into during the challenge. So it won't be crazy, confusy tallying of uh, spreadsheet tables. You just put it in a form, it links to your name. As long as you put the, your name to be the same, it links to your field in the spreadsheet and populates it like magic. So that's pretty awesome. So go check out um, Tome Infinity and Beyond, join Team Warfare. Um, if you do join, let me know. And if you want to read any of these books with me, let me know. If you have read these books uh, let me know <laughs> let me know um, let's just chat in the comments for a while and have a good time that's my September CBR readathonathon -thon because there's so many things going on that are awesome in September and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you join team warfare shout out to uh, Jessica and Christina from Game of Tomes Woot. So I want to shout out to all the other co-hosts of Tome Infinity and Beyond, round three, which are Kat from Brews and Reviews, Steph from Novelty Corner, Sam from um, Thoughts on Tomes, Sam from Sarcasm and Sci-Fi, Megan from Tome Infinity, um, Jessica and Christina from Game of Tomes. Did I forget somebody? And Spinebreakers. Megan and Sue from Spine Spinebreakers. Um, thanks everyone for inviting me to be part of that, part of this awesome readathon. I will link at all the goody goodies down below. Thanks so much for watching. If you like more sci fi books and all this gobbledygook of some guy talking about books in his car, then give me a subscribe. But thanks for watching. Alright, see you bye.